Our website, Viral, is officially live, so make sure you go grab all your merch in this beautiful playmat right now. Links in the description, viral.store. Thanks, team! Hi, team! Happy Monday, my luscious long ends! It's a new format, which means there's new cards to play because we got a new band list! Day Long's back! And speaking of coming back, you know what's never coming back? The, the food time. But the alpacas aren't, don't worry, they're still on the shelf and they have a new home right off to the side Which you can see if you follow us on stream, which you can because we're doing our case opening of Wild Survivors tonight For those of you who are new or returning on the channel, Sword Soul is my favorite deck pretty much of all time at this point I love this deck, it's my pet deck And we have a new format with some brand new cards that are finally making this deck from the usual okay it is to even better, baby this, Yeah, this new deck is crazy <laughs> But today we're going to show you the foundational new build of the deck that we're working on And it will modify over the format, so don't worry if you want to use this as a base, go, go for it, babe. babe. And don't worry for all my learners, at the end of the video, we will be doing a full tutorial and test hand for you. But with all that being said, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, and comment what you'd like to see for the new format and how much you like the new setup. But with all that being said, team, let's get Sword Soul. So for our Sword Soul lineup, we're going to start off with double copies of Ecclesia, double copies of Taya. Yes, they're Euro. Standard here, but triple copies of Moye. Moyezy, look at my girl. And then triple copies of Long Yun. The daddy, the strategist, the man with a plan. Now, as we said at the beginning of the video, this is going to be more of a foundational build. The format just started. We don't realistically know what's going to be panning out into the format. <laughs> so as we go, these ratios may modify. I did really want to play triple copies of Ecclesia as it is just an additional normal summit, which you kind of need in this deck. However, we really do want to play other tech cards, which we will get to in a little bit. I personally never like three Ecclesia in the deck. Don't shoot me down. I just like two better. Two feels great because I don't want to brick on so many normal summons between Taya, Moye, and Ecclesia. That's just a lot going on. I don't want all that. For our tiny package, we are on triple copies of Ashuna, triple copies of Edhara, triple copies of Vishuda, and then the one copy of Shatana. This may look like a heavier package. However, this is basically our Denglong package now because yeah. you need to mm -hmm. see multiple copies of these to play the game. Mm -hmm. Getting to Denglong is a crucial part of the brand new strategy. So three Edhara is absolutely mandatory yeah. moving forward. Yeah, this deck's got a heavier tiny build because they're beefed up and they got Daddy Denglong here to save the day. This deck reminds me a lot of what works now, which I was actually thinking about because we have like a searchable counter trap. It's kind of fun. It's not like OP. But it has so much like in archetype yeah, removal yeah, too, like ding and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like Orcus died so that Sword Soul could soar. Sorcus. Oh, I was going to say soar. <laughs> Hard to one win! <laughs> Again, for those of you who don't know, all of the tenies have an effect in hand where if you control no effect monsters, you can special summon them from the hand. They all also have a secondary effect where if they're in the hand or in the graveyard and you control a non-effect monster, you can activate their effect, banishing them for cost. So Ashuna specials any tenyi monster from your deck, and Hara adds any banished worm monster back to your hand, and Vishuda will target any card on your opponent's field and bounce it back to their hand. And then of course, because Shitana wants to be different, his effect is if a face-up non-effect monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, then target one of those destroyed monsters, special summon it, and then you can destroy a monster your opponent controls. Things to note here, Shatana is a level 4 and Hara is a level 1 tuner. Keep that in mind as we move along. Da -da 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 and then speaking of Danglong, we are playing the brand new package of one copy of Chiwen. I'm sorry, they're very hard to see. They're not ghost rares, they're just very old. They're very <laughs> old and the foiling is very different. <laughs> We're also playing the one copy of Beyond, and obviously the one copy of Nine Pillar. But look at Chiwen, look at the little guy, just so you can actually see him. Oh, look at my little friend. He's just a widow guy, a widow tuner, tuner fish, tuner worm. I know we mentioned it before, but Nine Pillars is our searchable counter trap now. I cannot tell you how crazy that is for this deck. You know what's fun? Yang Zing lore really quick. Uh, they're all based off of the Nine Sons of the Dragon, which is why it's Nine Pillars, because there was Nine Sons of the Dragon. That's a whole different day for a whole different lore story, but that's what all the Yang Zings are. They the mean you know? Sun Star. It's, it's Chinese mythology. Comment if you want that. So let's go over some of these effects because it's been a while since we played these cards. I've never played Yang Zings. Did you know they were the first worm archetype? Weird. So for Chi Wen, when a Yang Zing monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, banish it once it leaves the field. For Beyon, once per turn during your opponent's main phase or battle phase, immediately after this effect resolves, you can synchro summon one synchro monster using only Yang Zing monsters you control. This is a quick effect and that synchro monster cannot be destroyed by battle. And then our nine pillar says that when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated and you control a Yang Zing card, negate the 
activation and if you do shuffle that card into the deck then destroy one yang zing card you control so what you're effectively trying to do here is get your chi wen into the graveyard so that when your nine pillars destroys the dang long it will summon bn from the deck and then chi wen summons itself from the graveyard allowing you to quick sync for four i feel like every single card in the game that has a quick sync effect just makes herald it's always a four it's never anything else it's always a four and it's always herald which we'll get to in the extra deck along with how you play this card in the combo and then moving on to some pretty generic things in the sword soul build we are playing one copy of our sacred summit because it's the best card in the deck triple copies of rhoda aka sword soul emergence love that we are opting to try out double copies of vessel for the dragon cycle here. i mean there's nothing wrong with a free foolish the one copy of blackout which will open. and then this is basically a sword soul card we're playing double copies of pot of desire so it's not much of a tech card but we are playing vessel back in the deck now because the deck has become a lot more graveyard centric than it was before because of the yang zings so because of that we want to be able to put those cards in the graveyard and this is basically just a free foolish burial and sometimes a plus one as we said once again it's the start of the format these cards may yeah. change you could play circle mm -hmm. if you want you could play vessel you could change you could play one two three it doesn't really matter we are just testing these ratios so feel free to do yeah, it as just well play one know. copy of all your cards you don't need multiple they're terrible i know a lot of people like to play circle because the true fear of imperm on moye is absolutely terrifying so for those of you who want to play circle i understand it but i'm just i'm trying not to constantly live in fear of that goddamn card <laughs> and then for the remainder of the deck we are on triple copies of ash blossom for an upbeat ah! Got a little aggressive there. Triple copies of Effect Veiler and then triple copies of Infinite Impermanence. The card that puts the true fear of God <laughs> into Moye's eyes. Now there aren't as many hand traps in this deck anymore. It's kind of just like the standard list because this deck can already push through and break boards. It was able to before, but now with the new Yang Zing stuff, it just, it pushes through. Sword Soul has always been so good at pushing as a deck. And speaking of pushing, let's get some big bodies on the board with the extra deck. We're playing double copies of Monk. His effect is so strong, you'll have to read it for yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like it's not there. You gotta squint really hard. The one copy of Shaman. Just one thing to note with Shaman. Shaman does have a little baby lock in her where if you do successfully use her effect and summon back, you are locked into the extra deck effects of Tenyi monsters only. And then moving off into some sauce, we're playing Herald of the Arc Light. So we are playing Herald in the extra deck. This is a brand new inclusion that Sword Soul hasn't really seen all that often. However, with the new Yang Zing cards, you can make this on your opponent's turn and it can't be destroyed by battle. That's pretty nice. And the reason we get to play these, obviously, is because our good old boy Dang Long is back. Yay! At long last. He's been gone for so long. He came home. Dad, Daddy Dang Long. Dang. He... <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Zing. Okay, all right. All right. As we said before, Deng Long hasn't been around for a while, so let's go over its effects. If this card is special summon, you can add one Yang Zing card from your deck to your hand. That's nine pillars, the counter trap. Once per turn, you can send one worm monster from your deck to the graveyard. This card's level then becomes the scent monster's level. That's really good if you're trying to manipulate levels because uh, that's a tuner. And you play a synchro deck in case you hadn't figured that out yet. But I'm not done yet. If this face up card leaves the field, you can special summon one Yang Zing monster from your deck. Don't worry. You can only summon Dang Long once per turn. <laughs> yeah, after the mountain of effects, you know, just, oh, don't worry, you can only summon him once. Speaking of Yang Zings, we are still playing the one copy of Yazi. Fun fact, did you know, good old Yazi over here, he's the seventh son in the Son of the Dragon mythology. He's a level seven. Isn't that fun? He was the warrior of the group. And then for our eights? We're on double copies of Sweet Shuffle Baby. Yeah. And then for our nines, we are actually playing Chow Fang again. Because we're playing Yang Zings, we actually can get to this a little bit easier, and the Light Lock is a little bit more relevant now that it's not just a, a mono-decked format. Yeah, and we never want a single Drytron player to feel joy, even at the local level. We are playing the one copy of Draco Berserker. He do be berserking. Double copies of Chi Shao. Yes, they are Euro, and they are Starlight for anyone asking. I love this card. If anyone wants to send me Euro Ecclesias, the P.O. box is in the description. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest of this should be pretty predictable. Right. We've got one copy of Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign Qi Xing Long Yuan. God, I love that card. It's so powerful to say. I feel like I could go like like do a like a mosh pit thing with the arm throwing. What's that called? Danny's. Denglong. And then we're playing my other favorite ten in the game, Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign Cheng Ying. I love my thick tens. That's what you all are. Thick tens. 
Love you. And we're playing my favorite 10 in the game, which is Baron. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. What a vanilla <laughs> answer. Well, my favorite 10 in the game is Baron. It's not even vanilla. No, she's a wind. You know what wind is? Clear, which is basically vanilla. vanilla. Shout out to all my speedroid players for clear wing. You're vanilla. Yeah, the extra deck doesn't change a whole lot. Obviously, playing Herald is a really cool tech we get to do because we get to sync on our opponent's turn. And we have Deng Long. That's, That's pretty amazing. amazing. I don't really know what to tell you other than watch the combo right now and see what Deng Long does for this deck. We are a powerhouse. We are big, we are strong, we are worms. Alright team, welcome to the combo tutorial and test hand section of the video. This is where we do a random five card test hand to show you the actual viable ceiling that any five cards in your deck can't produce. With that being said, Deng Long being legal now adds a lot of new complexities and lines to the deck, so make sure you're paying attention to see what has changed. But with that being said team, we're going to cut on up, shuffle on up, and show you what Mo Geezy and a couple of fun cards can do now with Swo Swo. Alright, we're going to do a few more of these bad boys. All right, team, let's see what Moye can do in Synchro Shokan. All right, we start off with one copy of Emergence, one copy of Forehead, Adhara, our copy of Ashuna, and Imperm. So there's a ton of different card combinations in this deck that can get you to your end board. One of the more basic ones is any normal summon and Adhara. So we open Adhara, and we open the way to a normal summon. So we're going to fire things off by activating Emergence. This is going to grab your copy of Moye, and now we can proceed. We are going to special summon our copy of Adhara from the hand because we control no effect monsters. Now we can normal summon our copy of Moye. We can activate Moye's effect, revealing a worm in our hand, and this is gonna summon a token. And good news for all my new Sword Soul players, if you get this far and Moye resolves, you can pretty much guarantee you're good to go for the rest of the turn, because this, this is where they like to hurt you. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our level one tutor and our level four monster, and we are going to synchro summon. Oh boy, we're doing something different. It's not eight, it's five. We're summoning Deng Long. This is so weird. We're so used to Chi Xiao. Here we're gonna go Deng Long, chain link two, Moye, chain link one, because we do not want to draw our nine pillars off the Moye. We're gonna grab our copy of nine pillars here. We'll do a couple little shuffles, ask our opponent to cut. Wow, let's see what that hot draw is. Hot Moye draw, come on, baby. Something good, something good. Taya, okay, we got something for next turn. Now we're gonna go over here activate our Danglong effect. This is going to dump in Ashuna from our deck to our grave. Because we control a non-effect monster, we can activate the Ashuna and banish it. This is going to summon our copy of Shathana from the deck. Just so you know, when you do activate Ashuna's graveyard effect, you are locked into worms for the rest of the turn. So just know at this point, you're worm locked. While we control a non-effect monster, we want to have as many cards back as possible. So we're going to activate the Adhara, banish it, and then we're going to add back the Ashuna from our banish back to our hand. Now we're going to take our four and our four tuner. Better late than never. Now we're making Chi Xiao. We're going to activate Chi Xiao's effect on summon. This is going to search our copy of Long Yuan. And now here we can activate the Long Yuan effect. We're going to pitch our copy of Ashuna that our opponent knows we have summon itself. And then we are going to summon and yet again, another token. Now, as Logan said before, we did activate and resolve the Ashuna, so we are worm locked for the remainder of the turn, but that doesn't matter because we still have plenty of options. So here, we're going to Synchro Summon. And because we fear Anima for some ungodly reason, as much as we fear Mech Knights, and no matter what format is happening, we're going to summon Chi Xing Long Yuan in Zone 5. And we're going to activate our Long Yuan in Graveyard. Do not forget to burn your opponent for that hot damage. Now, what we have here is our copy of Nine Pillars that we can set, our copy of Infinite Impermanence, which we can set. Which we will scare the living hell out of them because they're going to think you have Blackout and hard opened it. So on our opponent's turn, we have a Negate with Chi Xiao. We have a Banish for a spell, a Banish for a monster. We also have a Counter Trap with our nine pillars, which can then obviously destroy our copy of Deng Long. And then on a new chain, Deng Long can activate. You can special summon Chi Wen from the deck. As Logan said, we have Imperm, we have Ash, so we have multiple hand traps, and we have double cards for follow-up as well. Now I know for this starting board that we just did, it's like, oh, you died in Nib or whatever, but because there are so many different combo lines and variations with your hand in this deck. There are plenty of hands where you can just make Baron first and then do the rest of your plays. It really just depends on the hand. And believe it or not, not every hand does the exact same line. Some lines are different. And I think that's what makes Sword Soul so fun. Yes, you can make Baron first in some instances to protect yourself from Nib and stuff like that. However, I just think this version of Sword Soul has a lot more versatility than it did before because of the Yang Zing package. So hopefully you like it. I do. And that's the deck. I'm really happy we have Deng Long now. It really adds a whole bunch of different lines to the deck that we didn't have before, and Sword Soul, let's be honest, was getting kind of stale. So it definitely needed the little bump from Deng Long, and I'm really excited to see where this deck goes moving forward in the format. So make sure you keep an eye out. I will be playing this deck at Locals and giving it a little love, and if I have any updates, I'll be sure to let y'all know. So make sure you subscribe and all that fun stuff, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love you, you matter, and we will see you in all these videos over here, team. Bye-bye. See y'all!